Are you a course creator or online coach who's wanting to sell more of your digital products online? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to sell more of your online digital products with paid ads like Google Ads or Meta Ads. But right at the start of this video, I wanna give you a really, really big warning that if you have just launched your new online coaching portal or an online course, I highly recommend that you do not let me repeat that, you do not start with a paid ads campaign. Now, that may sound like a really weird thing to say, especially from someone who has been running Google Ads since 2010, and currently at the time of recording, I have the largest Google Ads only YouTube channel. So I definitely believe in paid ads. But this is true, and let me explain why this is true, and I believe this so much in that I didn't start paid ads for my own course until we're already seeing over 200 sales in any given month. What I wanna clarify there is that my course was actually for teaching people how to run Google Ads. As you can see on the screen right now, you can see that our month of month sales was already growing a lot until we started that paid ads campaign. And then when we started that paid ads campaign, it allowed us to scale our sales even further. And the reason for why you don't start with a paid campaign is because you need to get a couple of core things right before you start a paid ads campaign. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy. And the reason for why I've got authority to speak on this topic is because not only have I been creating profitable Google ads campaigns, consulting and working for large international brands since 2010, I've also created my own seven figure course, which over the past two years has sold well over 3000 courses. So I very acutely know both of these worlds and that's why I can speak very clearly on this subject. Now, let me get to that part of why I recommend that you don't start with a Google Ads or a Meta Ads paid campaign and why I didn't start with that for my own course. So I'm not telling you something that I didn't do in my own course creation journey. And the reason for that is before you start any paid advertising campaign, you need to make sure that you've got these three factors in place right. Firstly, you need to have your pricing and your policies set correctly. Secondly, you need to have a landing page that you know is gonna convert. And then thirdly, you also wanna make sure, and this is the most important part for online creators, that you've got social credibility and also some proof. Now let's firstly run through those first two points because that third point is the main point that I wanna focus on for this video. Now, when it comes to pricing, you need to make sure, like any product, that you don't overprice your product. We had a mini course which we started selling, which we started at $99, and when it was priced at $99, we got one to two sales a month. We then changed that price, same product, down to $69, and we were getting about two to three sales a week. We then took that same course and it was marketing to the same audience. We brought the price point down to $49 and we were getting up to and over 10 sales a day. So you can see same product, same audience, completely different results because we worked at that pricing first. The second thing with a high converting landing page is that there's no point paying to send traffic to a landing page that isn't gonna convert. So you need to make sure you get your landing page set right. And on a landing page, there's a lot of information that you need to communicate really, really quickly, including you need to grab their attention with a really strong headline. You need to be able to build up some different pain or desire. You then need to position your product as the solution to solve that pain or the desire that they're seeking. You then need to be able to remove all the fear so they feel comfortable and they, they feel like they can buy your product with no risk. And then you need a really, really easy, simple and clean checkout process. So you can see there's a lot that needs to happen. Now, because that is such a big topic, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you where you can see some extra training right here on my YouTube channel about high converting landing pages. And the best part of that is that this is all data driven from over 10,600 user tests. So now that we've gone through those first two parts of getting your pricing right and also making sure you've got a landing page that will convert, let's talk about this third and most important point is that for digital products, so whether it be online coaching or your online courses, you need to make sure that you've got really good social proof. And the reason for why this is so important is because there is a core difference with an online product, like a digital product. And that is that people can't really go in and touch and feel your products. Now, let me give you some really, really clear examples. If your house is anything like mine, on any given week, you'll get multiple different deliveries delivered to your door, or with physical products that we've bought online. Now, for me, the reason why I'm confident to buy those products 
is because I've got confidence in the brand and the type of product that I'm ordering. Just a couple of weeks ago, I ordered a new pair of gym shoes and I knew that these were gonna be high quality gym shoes. They were a brand that I knew and I was also really, really clear with my sizing. Same too with shirts. You know that I'm a really big fan of black shirts and I ordered a whole bunch of black shirts because I knew the brand once again and I also knew the sizing. So in both of those examples, it made it really, really easy for me to make those purchases online because I knew the product and I knew what I was expecting. Even if it's a new product that you haven't exactly used before, if you know the brand or you know the type of product you're expecting, it makes it a lot easier to buy online. This becomes really, really hard for a digital product if they've only ever seen your ad and they can't find any social proof on a YouTube channel or on a LinkedIn profile or on your social media channels. So for digital creators, before you start just spending money on ads, I really recommend that what you first need to do is that you need to have high quality content that users can find online. Now, obviously for me, before I started my paid ads, I had you know well over 100 videos. Now I've got well over 200 videos on my YouTube channel, and that allows people to get a gauge of whether they really feel like I can actually help them, whether I know what I'm talking about, and whether they just really like my teaching style. Now, you don't need to do it on YouTube. You could do it through your LinkedIn profile. You could do it through different blog articles. But what you're wanting to do there is that with your ads on your landing page, you're wanting to be able to direct them to other parts where they can see some social proof so that they know that you are the trusted coach or the trusted course creator that can actually teach them something. And this is the area where I see a lot of digital creators and course creators making the big mistake. They go straight to ads without actually first building up that credibility. You know, that is examples I gave before of the different shoes and the different shirts that I bought online. The reason why I was happy to make those purchases is because one, I already had confidence in the brand, and two, I already knew my sizing, and I knew that this was the product that I needed. So as a digital creator, if they can't sample some of your teaching products or sampling some of your teaching styles, you're always gonna struggle to sell your courses with a Google Ads campaign. Now, if you've got that already in place and you do have some good social proof markers through YouTube or through your social media channels, I recommend that, yes, that's the time to get started with your Google Ads campaign, and if you want help with that, what I'm gonna do is if you follow that link in the description below, you can also get access to my campaign setup guide. And that's gonna give you a booklet where you can see all of the screenshots and a step-by-step -step process how to set up your first Google Ads campaign. And now also as promised, if you wanna see that extra teaching on how to create a high converting landing page, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you wanna learn how you can create high converting email funnels, especially for digital products, I want you to jump over to my other channel and you can watch this video right here to see how I used a high converting email funnel to triple the sales of my online products. Once again, thanks for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here and I look forward to seeing you in one of these videos right now. See you later.